Amelia, I am bringing this video to you as an update of a story that I told you back in September 2022. And the story that I am referring to is the story of Maurice Gordon and his little brother, Larry Ordway. If you didn't see that video, I'll give you a brief synopsis here. So to try and sum everything up, Maurice and his little brother, Larry, they were pretty much known as good kids for the most part, but you, you would see them on social media holding up guns and, you know, throwing up gang signs. And they were also in a music video doing the same thing. Whose music video was this? Some guy named Bryce Rhodes. He was like this wannabe rapper, you know, also a wannabe gang member, but he was really the devil in humans form. And so what happened? So Maurice and Larry met Bryce Rhodes through their mother, being that she was dating him. And they were so enamored by that whole, like, you know, that whole image of like street life and street people and, you know, quote unquote thugs, gang members, that whole thing. They were so enamored with that image. So Bryce Rhodes, he was able to see that. And he pretty much took these boys under his wing. And this was in 2016. Bryce Rhodes at that time was 25 years old. So these young boys, Maurice being 16, Larry 14 was so impressionable. And so they went up underneath his wing and they pretty much followed him around and did everything Bryce was doing. So in May of 2016, Bryce took Maurice, Larry, and a couple of other friends with him on a dummy mission. Bryce was offered to get paid $10,000 in cash if he was going to take somebody out. The person who he took out was not the intended target. He took out the wrong man. The man he took out was 40 year old Christopher Jones. However, Christopher for Jones, like I said, it was a mistake in identity. He, it wasn't supposed to be him. At that time, Bryce realized he made a mistake and he had Maurice and Larry with him. Maurice and Larry being the newest to his crew, he felt like, I can't trust y'all. I know these other little people, but I can't trust you guys. So he set them up. He set them up and he had the other little teenagers that was hanging around him. He had them go set up Maurice and Larry by luring them out the house and making them think that they was about to go party together. But when Maurice and Larry pulled up is that's when everything turned sinister. Bryce Rhodes gagged the brothers, put a stocking cap over their head, and then he stabbed them repeatedly. And he also had his little other little comrades with him stab them too. Stuffed their bodies in a crate, took it outside in the back of an abandoned building and burnt their bodies to a crisp. And that's exactly how they found those two boys sitting upright holding each other burnt. But police was able to track down a couple of the teenagers that were present and they asked them questions. The teens cracked under pressure, told them everything that happened, and then police was able to catch up with Bryce. They spotted his car on the Preston Highway. They pulled him over and then they arrested him on some other outstanding charges that he had, but then they ended up charging him with the murders for Maurice and Larry and he was indicted. Now, after he was indicted, he was supposed to face a trial for sentencing because, you know, the, the people want him to have the death sentence for such a horrible crime. But in December of 2021, Bryce had asked for a competency evaluation because in between 2016 and 2021, while he was in jail and going back and forth to court, he was firing his attorneys. He was being disrespectful to the judge. He was like apparently spitting at people in the court. He threatened a judge just doing a lot lot of stuff to buy himself more time and to try and make himself seem like he's crazy so that he can get lesser of a sentence I guess you know to avoid the death sentence he was supposed to go to trial in January of 2022 for that however you know there was a backlog with the courts there was things going on with the pandemic and so it got pushed back again even further so now in March his attorney asks the judge if they can have a closed competency hearing the competency hearing is for for this month, actually, April of 2023, I believe is on the 21st, this Friday coming up. So before this competency hearing come up, his attorney goes running to the judge in March saying, we want this competency hearing to be private. We want it to be closed to the public and to the media, which is absurd because for the most part, competency hearings are open to the public and the media. The public and the media is already very much invested in this case. This is a man who murdered an innocent man. He murdered two teenage boys 
in such a vicious way and got other teenage boys involved in the murder with him. This is a man who spat on court officials. This is a man who beat on his own mother and his sister. This man is the devil walking and he wants to claim insanity and his attorney is saying to the judge, you know, for the hearing to see if we can even claim insanity for that hearing where the mental health, you know, evaluator evaluates Bryce and sees if whether or not this man is competent enough to stand trial, you want to ask the judge, close that off to the public and to the media. So the judge had to have a hearing for that. The judge had to have a hearing to see if they'll close it to the public and the media, which is crazy. This is something that everybody is invested in. We want to know. We want the way the people want to see the hearing to see if this mental health evaluator would deem Bryce Rhodes competent to be on trial. So they had the hearing today as of April 17th to see if, if the judge will say, yeah, it could be open or not. And the judge said, yes, the judge said, yes, the competency hearing will be open to the public. Bryce Rhodes attorney tried to use Bryce Rhodes mental health in his, his client attorney relationship as a defense saying, you know, Hey, if we have this competency hearing open to the public in the media, this will affect my client's mental health. And it will also compromise his attorney client relationship because there's certain things that has been discussed between the client and his attorney that might be, you know, leaked into the public. There might be some information that the public might find out during that competency hearing. And he feels like that's a violation to his client's rights, which is hilarious to me that, you know, I mean, I know that's his job, but imagine that Bryce Rhodes, somebody being worried about Bryce Rhodes rights as a human. I don't think he's a human, but anyway, the judge said, you know what? Um, that's not a plausible reason. I'm going to open it to the media and to the public. If there's certain things that's too sensitive, then yes, we can redact it. We can redact the information. But as of right now, the competency hearing will be public. So come April 21st, I will be tuned in for the competency hearing so I can bring you an update even then because that story was horrendous. But that's just an update on Mr. Bryce Rhodes and what's going on with him. And prayerfully, the mental health evaluator will say, you know what, Mr. Bryce is absolutely competent to stay in trial. And hopefully this year we'll get a trial for a death sentence for Bryce Rhodes for what he did to those little boys and that innocent man. Okay, family, so make sure that you guys are subscribed make sure that you got your notifications turned to all so you can watch other videos of mine and always be updated when I upload new videos and new stories. I'll keep you guys updated and thank you for watching.